Hello everyone, in this video I will be making my bullet journal spread for August. So I printed some pictures I found on Pinterest and here I am just looking for a way to paste them into my bullet journal and I like this way so I'll glue it. I'm honestly so happy that I found these pictures because they really give me that summer aesthetic vibe. So now that I've glued my pictures, I of course have to write something on it, otherwise it'd be a really empty page, but I decided to write August, because what else? After it was done, I wasn't really happy about how it turned out, so I decided to use this cute card I bought at Dilla and Camille in the Netherlands, and yeah, I decided to glue it over it and write August again, because I like that better, and I also like the yellow details in the card, because they are matching with my pictures, of course. Then I decided to draw a cute flower on the left and I drew a rose, I think. But that's the fun thing about flowers when you're drawing them. They don't have to be perfect, they don't have to be straight lines and a flower can just be a flower that only exists in your fantasy. That's very much fun, I think. And now I am um, writing the days of the week on the right because I am making my calendar on the right. I am though not making any weekly spreads because uh, I don't have school or work because it's summer and I'm free so I don't really have to do a lot on a day so I can write anything in this little calendar and don't need to make huge weekly spreads. And it's also because I've reached my last pages of my bullet journal. Maybe otherwise I would have done it, but in this case, I don't have any choices actually, so. <laughs> so now I'm just looking what pictures I want to use because I like the colors of them, but of course, it might be a little too busy on one page using both of them so I decided to use this one with pink, orange, yellow, white, kind of green so I really like this picture and I'm gluing it right now Now I'm just going to be finishing the dates of August and this is actually something I'm always so scary about because it's so easy to write the wrong number and I will have to do it all over again. After all it'll be alright you'll see so. <laughs> So 
So now it's time to head on to making my trackers for August. And as I said, I'm running out of pages of my bullet journal. So I decided to make my mood tracker and my habit tracker just on one page. First, I'm starting with just writing tracker because what else again? And now I'm writing the dates of August. Now that the dates are done, I am going to write what I want to track. So first I'm writing 30 minutes board per day. And I also want to do every day my skincare routine and at least eight hours sleep. So now for my mood tracker on the same page, I am using orange for sad, dark pink for frustrated, light pink for okay and yellow of course for happy and I will be using these colors left to the numbers so just left to it and then from 1 to 31 of course and I think that might be looking very colory and happy at the end colory if it's a word and <laughs> if it's not only happy so <laughs> So for the next page I just wanted to make a summer vibe kind of page and I'm starting with gluing this picture of these orange stripes and they are kind of pastel orange color. So now I'm gluing this picture of a table at the beach and the table is totally set with good food and a teapot and just good food again. <laughs> And now I'm looking whether I can use this kind of paper and I'm just making it different shape but I didn't really like it at the end so I'm not using it. I also drew a flower on this piece of paper but I didn't like that either. So now I'm just going to draw sunny days just on the blank paper and I think it looks really cute actually. So now I'm just looking what else I can use on this page. I found this piece of paper with oranges on it and a piece of paper with kind of the water of a swimming pool on it and I think they both look very cute but both pictures weren't really what I was looking for. So then I found this piece of paper with the flower on it so I cut it out and I'm gluing it. But my camera stopped filming so you can't see really the results of it with the flower but you'll see it at the end. So now this is my monthly spread for August. I am really happy about the summer vibe and about the colours I use. And here's that little flower. <laughs> I hope this video could give you some inspiration for your own art or your bullet journal. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!